Hello, this is uh, Roger here from Quicklink. Uh, just going to take you through how to uh, enable uh, Microsoft Teams to support NDI. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to uh, turn it on within the admin center. So turning on NDI for Teams in the admin center. So we log on to the, uh, the Microsoft uh, portal. So we, we just go here. We go to Setup. Here we then scroll to the bottom and then we go to where it says Teams down here. So you can see here it says Teams. Click on the view. This takes us into the uh, into the Teams configuration. Then you go to Microsoft Teams Admin Center here. Click on the link here. This opens up uh, the the dashboard for Teams. So then we go down to to Meetings, uh, Meetings Policies. Now what we want to do here is create a, uh, a new policy. So we just click on Add. I'm going to call this one uh, Quick Link NDI. And then we're going to basically make sure that it's got all the settings set. So you can see here, there's a new one appeared called NDI Streaming. So let's just make sure this is switched on. We've also got the option to set the, the band, bandwidth of the actual meeting. We can, we've set this one to be 10 meg. Then we scroll down the bottom and click save. And it's as simple as that. So that's all the central administration side done, either by yourself or your uh, Teams or Office uh, administrator. Now we're gonna cut back to go through what's required within the, the Teams client itself. Okay, so now that we've uh, enabled it on the central system and the, or the administrator set it up, those policies will take time to pop, uh, propagate down. So um, what, you're, what you're looking for here is for the, the, the permissions tab within uh, Teams itself. So once the uh, permissions are populated, they will actually then appear, as you can see here, there'll be a network device interface and there'll be a slider to enable that. That won't appear till the, uh, till the propagations occurred, basically. So that could take a couple of minutes, or you may need to shut down Teams completely. So I'm just going to uh, log on to Teams now and show you exactly where this is. So you go to your um, cog, you go to the settings, you look under uh, permission, and then under permission, there'll be a new tab here called uh, Network Interfaces NDI, and that you can toggle on and off. So once that's enabled, uh, once you're in a call, you'll see the devices registered as NDI sources on the, uh, on the network. So here we are in a, uh, a Teams call. I've got a couple of my colleagues here. And the great thing about it is these outputs are now available as individual outputs as NDI. So I'm just going to click on the NDI monitor here. So you can see I'm inside NDI monitor. Click on the um, the desktop one, and you can see here listed uh, all the various uh, Teams one. So you can see Jordan's there, and switch to Bethan. And I could I could use these in various ways, basically as NDI sources. So the, so Quicklink has a number of uh, systems we've developed to to uh, basically use these new features available within the the Microsoft Teams. So come along to our website and have a look at the, uh, the new products uh, specifically tuned for this environment.